What do you get when you combine automotive engineering with a dash of, well, questionable taste? You get a lineup of cars that make you question the sanity of their creators. From wonky designs to engineering missteps, these automotive disasters are sure to leave you scratching your head. So buckle up as we dive into the top 10 automotive engineering disasters that will make you wonder, what were they thinking? Number 1. 1938 Stout Scarab Picture this. The world's first minivan, but with the charm of a potato bug. The 1938 Stout Scarab tried to blend innovation with style, but ended up resembling a giant metal insect. With an aluminum body, weird shape, and lack of running boards, it's a rare sight for good reason. Let's just say it's best left hidden away in a garage. Number 2. 1946 Crossley CC. Meet the sad dog of cars. The 1946 Crossley CC attempted to capitalize on post-war demand, but fell short in the style department. Its slab-sided design and tiny wheels give it a squashed-in appearance, leaving you wondering if it's a car or a novelty toy. Number 3. 1958. Subaru 360. Looking for a car that's both cute and cringeworthy? Enter the 1958 Subaru 360. Built to strict Japanese standards, its bug-eyed design and awkward proportions make it stand out for all the wrong reasons. Even its late arrival in the U.S. couldn't save it from being labeled cheap and ugly. Number 4. 1970s Marcos Mantis. Sleek? More like squished. The 1970s. Marcos Mantis tried to turn heads but ended up resembling a car that survived a giant's footstep. With lumpy lines and awkward details, it's a wonder how they managed to sell any at all. But beauty is in the eye of the beholder, or so they say. Number 5. 1985. Consulier GTP. Fast? Yes. Stylish? Not so much. The 1985 Consulier GTP may have had speed on its side, but its Miami Vice-inspired design missed the mark. With an appearance straight out of a fever dream, it failed to capture hearts like its competitors. Sometimes, looks do matter. Number 6. 1990. Chevrolet Lumina APV. Futuristic minivan or giant dustbuster? The 1990 Chevrolet Lumina APV aimed for the stars, but landed squarely in the realm of oddity. Its low to ground nose and sliding dashboard left much to be desired, earning it a spot on the list of automotive eyesores. Number 7. 1998. Fiat Multipla. Picture Jabba the Hutt sitting on a fishbowl. The 1998 Fiat Multipla embodies design gone wrong. Its mismatched halves and cramped interior make it a visual disaster. The gauges and controls crammed onto the center stack resemble a child's toy. It's as if two separate cars were sewn together in a Frankenstein-like fashion. Even the French, known for their fashion sense, couldn't salvage this mess. From its awkward exterior to its impractical interior layout, the Multipla serves as a cautionary tale in automotive design. Number 8. 2012 Mini Cooper Coupe Tall folks need not apply. The 2012 Mini Cooper Coupe may have been compact, but its awkward roof line and tiny back seat left much to be desired. Designed to resemble a kid wearing a backward baseball hat, it's a reminder that not all trends are worth following. Number 9. 1995. Oldsmobile Aurora. Oldsmobile's last hurrah took a wrong turn with the 1995 Aurora. Despite innovative technology, its aged appearance and squinting headlights left buyers cold. Sometimes even the latest gadgets can't save a sinking ship. Number 10. Nissan Pivo 2. Part car, part robot, all ugly. The Nissan Pivo 2 attempted to showcase the future of transportation, but ended up looking like a failed theme park attraction. With its swiveling cabin and sideways driving capabilities, it's a technological marvel that's best admired from a distance. And there you have it, folks. The top 10 automotive engineering disasters that will leave you questioning the sanity of their creators. From bizarre designs to misguided innovations, these cars prove that sometimes less is more when it comes to automotive engineering. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. 
Thanks for watching and we will see you in our next video.